Tom Lee, and I'm a storyteller. And one of my favorite places to tell stories is the Yale Center for British Art in New Haven, Connecticut. Every year we have hundreds and hundreds of school children who come into the museum and look at the artwork and discuss it and make sketches. And sometimes I tell stories. And sometimes I tell stories that are about the pictures. And sometimes we like to look at the pictures together and think about what kind of story might take place in that picture or what stories that picture reminds us of. Today, I wanna to tell you a story that I often tell in front of one of my favorite paintings by Mr. John Constable. The painting is called Stratford Mill. And you can download a copy of this from the museum's website so you can look at it in detail at home. If you like, you can even make a sketch of the painting right at your own kitchen table. It's great fun and I encourage you to do it. John Constable grew up not far away from this very mill and he loved exploring the woods and the rivers and the countryside. And when he grew up and became a painter, he painted all of the same places where he played as a child. This painting is one of his six footers. It's enormous. When we look at paintings together with classes in the museum, a lot of times we ask the same kinds of questions you might ask when you're reading a story. We look at this picture and we might say, what's the setting? Where is this taking place? We might ask who the characters are. We can see a lot of clues and hints about who the people are in this picture and what they're doing. And once we've discussed that, I like to tell a kind of a silly story that I'm sure Mr. John Constable didn't know, but I like to connect it to the setting and the characters in this picture. I found this story in a book called Ten Small Tales by Celia Barker Lottridge, and I highly recommend it. You should check it out. This is my retelling of this traditional story. Once upon a time, there was a little boy who lived with his grandfather. Now it was just the two of them and they lived together in a big old house and they got along really well. They had two favorite things to do. The grandfather had a favorite thing and the grandson had a favorite thing, but they weren't the same. The grandfather's favorite thing was to go fishing. He loved to fish. He would take his grandson with him. He'd go every day if he could. And the grandson liked to fish, but it wasn't really his favorite thing. The grandson's favorite thing to do was hide and seek. He loved that game, but I'll tell you why. This boy was the best hider. He could hide in places that you and I couldn't even think of. We couldn't even get the idea, but he could hide there easily. And when this boy played hide and seek with his friends, he always won. They could never find him. But when this boy played hide and seek with his grandfather, he always lost. You know why? His grandfather was the best finder. It didn't matter where this boy hid. His grandfather would find him there. Oh, there you are, grandson, he would say. I found you again. Just once, the boy used to wish, just once. I want to hide somewhere where my grandfather cannot find me. Well, one day they were having their breakfast and the grandfather said, grandson, you and I haven't been fishing for a long time. Let's go fishing today. The boy said, great grandpa, you know me. I'm always ready to fish. And he went onto the front porch to wait for his grandfather. But his grandfather said, yep, we'll go fishing as soon as I finish reading the newspaper. Now, when this grandfather read the newspaper, he read every word on every page, and he just sat there reading the paper, reading the paper. And his grandson was impatient. His grandson wanted to fish. He was waiting for his grandfather and waiting. No, the grandfather was reading the paper and read. Oh. The boy was so impatient. He said, I know what I'll do. 
If I have to wait for my grandfather to read the paper, read the paper, I'm going to hide on my grandfather. And today's the day. Today's the day I'm going to think of a place so good my grandfather will not find me. So he thought and thought, can you think of a really good hiding place? Finally, he looked down on the ground in the front yard at the bottom of the stairs, and he happened to see a peanut, just a little peanut lying on the ground. And the boy thought to himself, I'm good. I'm the best. Am I good enough to hide inside that peanut? And you know what? He did. Don't ask me how. I don't know, but he did. He hid himself inside the peanut. And he said to himself, this is the best. My grandfather will never find me here. And you got to admit, that was good. But there was a problem. Along the grass that morning, there happened to come a chicken. A very hungry chicken. And when the chicken saw that peanut lying on the ground, the chicken thought, hmm, that looks good. <clears throat> the chicken swallowed the peanut. So you tell me, where was the boy? Now in the museum, we usually say this together. So I hope you'll say it with me. The boy was inside the peanut, inside the chicken. And that was bad, but it got worse. The chicken wandered away over into the forest where there happened to live a fox, a very hungry fox. And the fox took one look at that chicken and the fox thought, mm, mm, a tasty snack. Hum. The fox swallowed the chicken. Now you tell me, let's say it together, where was the boy? Inside the peanut, inside the chicken, inside the fox. And that was bad, but it got worse. The fox wandered deeper into the forest where there happened to live a wolf. A very hungry wolf. And as soon as the wolf saw the fox, you know what happened. Mm -hmm. I'm going to have a snack. Hum. The wolf swallowed the fox. You tell me, where was the boy? Inside the peanut? Inside the chicken? Inside the fox? Inside the wolf? And that was bad. Could it get any worse? Oh, yes. You see, the wolf was feeling very full. And the wolf was feeling very thirsty. So the wolf went down to the river to take a drink of water. What the wolf did not know was at the bottom of that river lived an absolutely enormous fish. And what happened was this. The wolf came walking along and bent down to drink some water. The fish came swimming up to take a look around. The wolf saw the fish. The fish saw the wolf. And whether you believe me or you don't believe me, I don't care because this is what happened next. <coughs> the fish swallowed the wolf. What? You tell me. Where was the boy? Inside the peanut, inside the chicken, inside the fox, inside the wolf, inside the fish, at the bottom of the river. And that was bad enough. And all this time, all this time, do you know what the grandfather was doing? Was he searching for his grandson? Was he trying to find him? No. He was reading the paper. 
and reading the paper and reading the paper. But then something incredible happened. He finished reading the paper. Yes, he did. He folded it up. He put it down on the table. He said, now, where is that grandson of mine? It's time for us to go fishing. And he went right out on the front porch and he said, grandson. Hey, grandson. Where is... Uh, I know what he's doing. He's hiding on me. <laughs> but that's all right. I'm the best finder. And I know where he's hiding. He's probably behind the tree. No, he wasn't there. Maybe he's under the porch. No, he wasn't there. The grandson looked and grandfather looked and looked. The grandfather looked and looked, but he could not find his grandson. And finally, he said to himself, well, Maybe he went off to play with his friends. I did take a long time to read the paper. Oh well, I'm just going fishing by myself. So he did. He went down to the river with his fishing rod and his reel and his line and his hook and his bait and he cast it into the river and oh, oh, almost at once he caught himself a fish. And he said to himself, this one's big, this one's huge, this fish is enormous. And it was, and you know why. But the grandfather didn't, he scratched his head, he said, how on earth can a fish get to be so big? What has this fish been eating today? And he took the fish's mouth and he opened it up and look. Do you know what he saw? Yes, you do. Inside the fish was a wolf staring back at him. He said to the wolf, what are you doing in there? And the wolf said, hmm, I don't know. <laughs> Listen, if you promise not to bite me, I'll pull you out, okay? All right, so the grandfather reached in to the fish, oh, and he grabbed that wolf, and he pulled him out. And he put the fish back into the river, and the fish swam away. But the wolf was looking pretty plump, too. And the grandfather said to the wolf, what have you been eating today? And he opened the wolf's jaws. You know what he saw inside the wolf was a fox. The grandfather reached into the wolf. He pulled out the fox. He put the wolf down. The wolf ran away. He looked at the fox and said, Now, Miss Fox, what have you been eating today? He opened the fox's jaws and bark! Bark! Seriously, inside the fox was a chicken, for heaven's sakes. The grandfather plucked the chicken right out of the fox. He put the fox down. She ran off in a hurry. Well, little chicken, what have you been eating today? And the grandfather opened the chicken's... A peanut. A peanut. He put the chicken down, the chicken ran off. And that was pretty good because he was getting hungry with all. He said, let me think this through. Inside the fish was a wolf. Inside the wolf was a fox. Inside the fox was a chicken. Inside the chicken was this peanut. So there's only one question left. What's inside the peanut? So the grandfather took that peanut and cracked it open, and out came his grandson. What? And the grandson said, Grandfather, you found me. And the grandfather said, Whoa, 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 whoa. Of course I found you, grandson. I knew where you were hiding the whole time. And the grandson said, Gee, Grandpa, 
You really are the best finder. And the grandfather said, I know, I know. Now, grandson, let's go fishing. And they did. And the boy was very glad that he was not inside the peanut, inside the chicken, inside the fox, inside the wolf, inside the fish, at the bottom of the river. And that's the story of the boy who hid inside the peanut. And I always think of it when I see the painting Stratford Mill by Mr. John Constable. And I hope someday you'll come to the Yale Center for British Art and see it for yourself. Thanks for listening.